Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we are here in Dallas, Texas for the don'ts of visiting Dallas, Fort Worth, because this Metroplex area is huge and there's a lot of stuff to see when you're here, and you're not just going to visit Dallas, you're not just going to visit Arlington for a game, you're not just going to go to Fort Worth, there's a lot of things to do around here, and so I thought we need to get the don'ts of the entire area, and my first don't for you is don't underestimate the size of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I mean, this place is huge, and you may actually meet people that are from Dallas that, oh, I only get over to Fort Worth once a year. I mean, it's not, they don't butt up to each other. It's not like Fort Dallas, Fort Worth are like this. It's like Dallas, Arlington, Fort Worth, and there's other things all around. So if you're here in the winter, you go to Grapevine for the Christmas markets. It's pretty to see. Or yes, you can go to South Fork and see the Dallas Ranch if you want to do that. But it's a really, really big metropolitan area, and it's going to take you a lot of time to drive places, okay? So just have a heads up for it and realize that, look, Dallas-Fort Worth isn't like this, it's like this, okay? And I think my next note is something I, I want to make sure people realize is don't forget the FW and DFW because you're coming to DFW, the airport, Dallas-Fort Worth. And a lot of people, when they think of this area, they only think of Dallas. But you have to realize if you want that real Texas feel when you come to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you get that in Fort Worth because, you know, you talk to locals, they'll tell you Fort Worth is Texas turned to 11. And it's a really great place to see. If you go downtown, going to the water gardens and seeing that, that cool but for me the best thing to do is going to the stockyards the Fort Worth stockyards every day at 11:30 and 4 o'clock they actually have a cattle drive where there's the longhorns that come through and it's really really cool and when you're down there there's a lot of really great restaurants like we ate at the HT ranch which was fantastic there's a bunch of bars down there you can go to you go to Billy Bob's there's a honky-tonk for music and having a good time and you'll see people going out to have a good time in Fort Worth but I don't go, I won't lie to you, you have a good time everywhere you go and here's the surprising thing the top ranked zoo in the United States is actually the Fort Worth Zoo there's a Dallas Zoo and a Fort Worth Zoo and honestly it's worth your time to go to the Fort Worth Zoo when you are there okay or when you're in this area so I want to make sure I get that don't forget about Fort Worth when you are here and I really want to emphasize that by my next don't don't think you're too cool to go watch the cattle drive, okay? Because really, going to the stockyards is a fantastic thing to do. Just remember, 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. every day, they come through and it's a really great thing to do. All kinds of fun stuff. Caleb actually did the uh, mechanical bull when he was there, and so you can have a really good time. So my next tone for you is we're, we're coming from Fort Worth, we're coming over here to Dallas, and I think it's really important you realize that don't think of Dallas as just the city where Kennedy was assassinated. Look, when you come here, you can see where President Kennedy was assassinated. You can go over to Dealey Plaza and actually on the road, there's an X where he was assassinated. You can go to the Sixth Floor Museum that's there. There's plaques all around. And yes, you can see, check out the grassy knoll, but don't think Dallas is just, just that. Dallas has got so much great stuff to see and do when you're here. Whether you're seeing some of the great museums that are here, the Dallas Museum of Art is fantastic. The Perot Museum, if you're more into natural science kind of museums, you can go, if you go to SMU, oh my God, the campus of SMU, oh my God, it is gorgeous. And you go there, the George W. Bush Presidential Library, that's there. And the thing is, you can, there's a lot of stuff to see here in Dallas. I like coming here to Pioneer Park. You can go up Reunion Tower. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do when you're here. And it's not just the Kennedy assassination stuff. So, so don't think that's the only thing to do when you come to Dallas, because there is a lot more to do. And there's a lot of fun stuff to do too in the area overall. So don't think you can't have fun when you come here, because there's great clubs, there's great restaurants, there's great places to eat, not just restaurants, but hole in the wall places that have great barbecue or Tex-Mex. There's so many great things to do when you're here and there's fun stuff for all ages. Tons of water parks. Yes, you have Six Flags over Texas you can go to. I mean, there really is a ton of things to see and do when you're here. You want to go to sports? You don't go to Dallas. You don't go to Fort Worth, you actually go to Arlington. And Arlington's where you see the Texas Rangers and most importantly, the Dallas Cowboys. And you can actually do a tour of Jerry World when you are there. So there's a lot of really great things to do around the area, whether it's culture, whether it's fun, whether it's for family. So you have a really great like time when you come here. And the thing is, is there's also the Dallas Arboretum you can go to, the Dallas World Aquarium you can see. So there's a lot to see and do for all ages when you come to Dallas and Fort Worth, because you have so many things to see. Now there's another don't I think you really should know when you come to the Dallas-Fort Worth area is that is, 
don't count on public transportation to help you, okay? Now, if you're here in Dallas, there is public transportation, and in Fort Worth there's public transportation, but going between the cities and stuff, there's not really public transportation options, so you're really gonna have to drive when you come here. This is not one of those, oh, I'll get around on public transportation. No, you need to have your own car. You do need to do the drive when you are here, and yes, there are a lot of highways, there are a lot of traffic, and parking really sucks no matter where you go around here, but it is what you're gonna have to do. You are gonna have to drive, because public transportation not so great and if you're going to be coming to a game like going to a Rangers game or going to a Cowboys game you have to realize is that Arlington is actually the largest city in the US that does not have public transportation so you're gonna get there and they're like hey we can charge whatever one for parking you're gonna be you're stuck here because there's no transportation to get you out I mean you can uber there and stuff like that but just have a heads up now my next one for you is don't worry about getting a heaping helping of fantastic food when you do come here to the Dallas Fort Worth area because there are fantastic restaurants all over over the area and the thing is you can have the hole in the wall places for a fantastic barbecue hurtados in arlington you, you got my you got my you got my vote they're awesome also you're looking to get breakfast tacos the place down the street is going to be awesome but for me barbecue and tex-mex man you can get your queso when you're here get your barbecue when you're here. get your big steaks when you're here you will eat so well when you come here to dallas and when you go to fort worth and arlington because there's so many places to be and if you're looking at the type of food i mean you can get any food anywhere but i kind of find that dallas has a bit more upscale restaurants and more international fair. I mean, the international fair is everywhere, but it just seems like there's a little bit more international flair in the restaurants in the Dallas area, and Fort Worth's got more of that cowboy kitchen kind of stuff, but you can actually have the, the great food everywhere and from anywhere, so something to think about when you're here is, is realize you're going to get fed Texas style here, which means a lot of food and a lot of fantastic food with fantastic friendly service. And honestly, don't be afraid of the hole-in-the-wall places. I just got to re-emphasize that. You may think, breakfast tacos from a gas station barbecue from this thing on the side of the road yeah it'll be awesome don't worry now a safety thing i want to tell you about when you are here is uh, if you're over in fort worth and you go to the water gardens don't mess around in the water gardens so what you know when you go to the water gardens it's, it's it's cascading waterfalls going down but there's these walk this walkway you can go but it's it's things you have to take big steps and big ups you know big steps up big steps down to get there and it can be a little slick and dangerous so do be careful so if you're going to the water gardens in fort worth and you're with little kids make sure you're holding their hands because you just got to be extra careful when you're there all right because it can be a little dangerous i was like yeah, if, if I had a bad knee, I don't know if I could get down there, or more importantly, I don't know if I could get back up from there. Now, another safety thing I think I should tell you about is don't mess with the Texas weather, okay? In the summer, Texas heat here in Dallas, Fort Worth, is horrible. I mean, you will be like, why am I here in July and August? Because the area is fantastic, but not in July and August. So do have a heads up for the heat. That means go inside and have a drink. Go inside and enjoy the food and get that air conditioning when you can. And then you can enjoy, you know, the other 10 months and nine months of the year where the weather is fantastic and not oppressively hot. So just be careful with that. But also I think with the weather is important to know is actually here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, it can get cold in the winter. So they can have some snow. Now the snow doesn't really stick, but what's dangerous about it is it melts right away and then it turns to ice. And I don't care where you're from. Driving on ice is not anything anybody can do, okay? So be careful if you do have that when you're here. And also don't ignore any tornado sirens. The tornado sirens go off, make sure you find shelter when you are here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, okay? Now another don't I have for you is don't be afraid to relive your childhood dreams when you are here in Dallas um, and then just the area in general because there's some fun places you might want to visit when you're here. Like for example, I've been a Cowboys fan since I was a wee lad and it was great to actually see Jerry World or uh, AT&T Stadium, sorry, uh, where the Dallas Cowboys play. Jocelyn, a fan of Dallas forever, we're going to South Fork Ranch to see and do the tour so she can see that. But also you got Six Flags over Texas, you got Hurricane Harbor, the water park, there's so many outdoor activities to do here you can really feel young again even if you're an old fart like us and when I say us I mean me because Jocelyn isn't an old fart I, I am Jocelyn is a young I think she's 25 now maybe 26 I, I don't know now my last don't I want to talk about for you is actually the driving don'ts and that is don't think you're going to get anywhere quickly when you're around Dallas Fort Worth and you're driving around the Metroplex because there is always construction. You may think, oh, that, that construction is going to be done soon. No, no. There'll be new construction on top of that new construction, on top of that new construction, and the lanes can be very, very like small and, and, and narrow, but also the turn-ons and turn-offs 
look, you're probably gonna miss a turn off or two while you're here. Have your GPS and just go around. And what I found is they were doing so much construction here that like the GPS in our car didn't actually have the right roads. It kept thinking we were off, uh, you know, off I-30 when we were on I-30. So just have a heads up for that and be prepared. And the thing is, is when you're in Texas in general, you gotta realize people drive fast when they're here and they're up close. You'll see people weaving and stuff like that. So just, you know, have your patience. Just know this is, this is it's a little bit stressful when you drive here. So it can be a bit much because it's not like you, you drive and then the traffic disappears. There's traffic all the time, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a Sunday, you know, during a holiday weekend and no one's in town, there's still a lot of traffic going on, okay? So so just be prepared for that, all right? So I hope this helps you get ready for visiting Dallas uh, or Fort Worth or Arlington or any of the Metroplex area. It really is a great place to go. I, I really, we really enjoy our time down in downtown Dallas, but Fort Worth for me was, was, my, was my like highlight of our trip here. But honestly, whichever one you choose to go see, try to go see both because there's enough stuff to see in this whole area to get Dallas and Fort Worth and see some Arlington and see some other things that you'll have a good time anyway if you want to learn more maybe the eats of texas well guess what on jocelyn simply jocelyn channel she has a video on the eats of texas so go watch that and learn some of the fantastic food you can have when you're here in dallas or fort worth or basically anywhere in texas i'll say bye from here in dallas and a special thank you to our patrons on patreon and members on youtube who help make honest travel videos like this possible special shout out to all of our buddies our texas friends that helped us out with this from ronnie to mark to terry to april to brian to franklin and everybody else we want to say thanks y'all it was fantastic learning more about texas with you and to enjoy this wonderful city or i should say cities <laughs> bye from dallas